everyone, this is XPuser2600 here. Finally, finally, I think it's time to get this real. It's real, guys. It's real. Here it comes. Oh, this thing is so heavy. Here we go. My new laptop. It's right here. Oh my goodness, it's very big. It cannot even fit in the screen. Oh my gosh. Alright. Some really cool stuff here, I guess. I think it's time to open this. Well, this is so satisfying, I guess. Time to break the seal. What the hell is going on? All right, everyone, time to break the seal. Why, did, why didn't, doesn't it break? Or did it, or did it break already? Oh, finally, it's starting to break. It's really hard to film and open this thing at the same time. Oh yeah, I broke it finally. Let's go. Let's go, everyone. Time to open this. It's really hard to do this, but here, I just started this using my scissors, and now <clears throat> this thing is so hard to do. So, scissors to the rescue again. Why doesn't it open? It's so hard for me to open it. Wait just one moment. Oh man, this is so satisfying. It's opening already. Time to see how my laptop looks like. I guess. And... Just look at it. Well, we have some warranty stuff right there. Oh, you see that? Because it's, well, you know, sensitive stuff. And now, for the guest star of the show, the laptop itself it's pretty heavy but that's no problem because I already got it out it's just as big as the one I had the Acer one and just you look at that we have some stickers but oh well that's not my thing because well I'm not using this thing for gaming at all I just need it for very powerful video editing but now Time to open up this bag. This bag, wait, it's already like that? Okay, let's go. It's really hard to hold this phone. Ah, there it is. Feel the power of this laptop. And there you all go. I do not I do not need this box at all now. So wait just one moment and then I'll show you the laptop. Here it is. So cool. They say this is to game tough on it. Well, it is really called tough, but that's only just three letters, T, U, and F. It's opening. Oh my goodness! This thing is so cool. Oh my god. Wow. This thing is so awesome. So cool. I have finally got it. And now... I'll unbox the accessories too. The rest of the box, I see. So now, here's the second box. This thing contains the charger. Well, the adapter and the thing. Pretty powerful, I guess. And then, as you have saw, we have some stickers in here, which I do not need. And then we have some warranty stuff. I guess they have some stuff right here. Let me see what they have got. They only got this warranty form. 
this thing is something that I won't like to show you so I'll just throw it away we have this what's this uh, the manual OS installation problems scan it what the hell don't worry I know how to install an operating system press power button what do you mean and the last thing is a Russian advertisement I'm not Russian you already know that I'll throw it away too so now let's get the laptop plugged in and get the operating system installed. Everybody, here's the laptop in its full glory. Let me open it up to show you how cool it looks like. Look at the keyboard. It has some Russian symbols too, but I don't really care about that one. Either way, time to press that button. Power on. And look at this. That thing flashes and now the keyboard has started to flash in different colors. This is what you call RGB. And I have plugged in my flash drive to install Windows 2. Stupid autofocus. Not again. But either way, here I'm gonna select Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021. Well, that's a strange choice for an operating system. But here we go, we're booting up to the installer. This thing has booted up into the installer, so now, unfortunately, just look at what happens when I use the touchpad, the mouse doesn't move. But that's not a problem because we're going to use the keyboard instead. Um, okay, it focused on the next button, enter. Okay, okay, and here we go, setup is starting. It's gonna be fast, but here, I'm not gonna show you this piece of garbage, I say. So, I don't have a power key. I'll activate this thing later. So, to have the best stuff, I'm gonna choose uh, IoT Enterprise LTSC. That thing is supported up to 2032. That's the best thing I can have for now. Okay, I accept this. Yada yada yada, blah blah blah, and custom. No? What the hell? Oh, okay, looks like I have did something wrong in here. Of course, something has to go wrong. Okay, I don't have hard key again. So, accept this. Enter. So now... What the hell? I don't understand this. What's going on? Of course, everything has to go wrong. Well, I had to scan the QR code which said uh, OS installation problems scan this thing. So I instead decided to open that web page in my, my old computer. Right now I'm using it. So here it says that Mm, there is a driver required to install, so I'm going to uh, download the, this thing, the driver. So let me go ahead and find this thing. So I'm just going to be okay. Just a moment. Finally figured it out. Finally. I have loaded some driver from the website and now I'm gonna yeah here we go let's go we're installing Windows now okay so the laptop is now restarting after that it finished so now let's see if it will boot up here we go it takes a bit of time to start up but now Yep, there we go. It has started the installation. And here we go. The usual stuff. Wow, that fast? 
Well, this is how I got to see that thing is very fast. All hail NVMe, I guess. And, oh my goodness, it restarted that fast? I couldn't understand what's going on. Is LTSC so lightweight? I don't know. But here, I think this this is actually the fastest installation of Windows ever. It's like only showing the Asus logo for at least two seconds before actually showing it again uh, during this OB stage. So here we go. Just a moment. It's loading up the annoying OB. Wow, it loaded that fast? But why? Why? Why wouldn't this thing work? Okay, let's just continue. I'm just gonna use that keyboard to get through. No, and it doesn't detect internet. I have to install the drivers myself. Yeah, this thing is annoying. I need to skip all of this. Okay, so now it gives me a benefit because I won't need to sign to some stupid domain. Now let's just type XP user 2600. Oh yeah, and the DPI is very high. That's not my thing. Alright, time to disable all of this stupidness. This, 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 and this. There we go. And here we go. I have successfully installed Windows in under 5 minutes, I guess. This is how fast USB 3.0 and PCI Express really is. Well, a ton of time has passed after this. Don't mind that wearing in the background. So, I have installed all the necessary programs right here. And I've also disabled RGB because it's stupid in my honest opinion. It just simply wastes, you know, wastes battery power. In a way, this thing is so cool. And I think it, le it is at least 15 times more powerful than a, than a desktop that I'm using. So, my next videos will be made on this laptop. Thank you very much for watching. This is XPUser2600 signing out. Peace out, everybody.